And today I've got my exclusive review of the DJI Air 3. My name is Dan Davis and I am the course creator of the Fearless Drone Academy, which is the ultimate online drone course for beginners. So DJI have done it again with the Air 3. This is a very well-rounded drone with so much going on for it. It's probably the right upgrade for a lot of people. I know there's been so many different drones coming out recently, but the Air 3 has a lot going on for it. It is advancing in so many different areas and this could be the right drone for a lot of people. The Air 3 has a phenomenal dual camera system here, which actually utilizes both a wide camera angle system as well as a medium telephoto camera system. So you're actually getting the option to utilize a zoom with that three times as well as the wide angle, which is their one times. You can also go up to nine times with the digital zoom. But if we just look at the three times, which is the medium telephoto system, this is the standout for me. I absolutely love using this system. And we did see it on the Mavic 3 Pro. It's the same medium telephoto system. Both systems here are actually one over 1.3 inch CMOS sensors and both systems are capable of capturing 4K up to 100 frames per second with the slow motion options and 4K 60 if you're utilizing just the normal video mode. But very impressed the fact that you can actually go between the two systems and the image looks very similar because it is a one over 1.3 inch system. They can both capture all the options that you want in the video modes and the slow motion modes. So I do love using both of them because they do work really well together. Both systems can actually capture 48 megapixel stills and there's a lot going on with this system like there's so many cool features that were kind of exclusive to the Mavic 3 but they've now come to the Air 3 and it really does stand out as a pro offering at a affordable price point like considering this does have so many pro features and where it's coming in in that price point I think it is a great combo for a lot of people so if you are interested in the Air 3 I do actually have an exclusive subscribers combo for you guys out there it is exclusively available through the D1 Store's website and it is in partnership with danstube.tv, the Fearless Drone Academy and the D1 Store. So go and check that out because it is a great combo and that will be linked below. The Air 3 is a 720 gram drone. So relatively light considering what you have crammed into this unit here. It's a very, very impressive pro offering here from DJI. It does have that dual camera system, like I said, on the front there. It also does have omnidirectional obstacle avoidance. So that means that it's got sensors in every single direction so it can avoid things everywhere. So that means that regardless of what's going on around the system, it can bypass it, it can continue tracking you, and it also has Active Track 5.0 and APASS 5.0, which means that the drone can actually change the direction that it's tracking you and still continue tracking you and still avoid obstacles as it's doing that. So a very impressive offering here, and that omnidirectional obstacle avoidance which we saw on the Mavic 3 has come over here to the Air 3. You're also getting an astonishing 46 minutes of flight time with this new battery system. So it is very capable in all situations. And as you would imagine by now, it's a DJI drone. So the performance of it is top notch every single time. Never had any issues with the flight performance. It just handles the sky perfectly, regardless of the wind conditions, regardless of what's going on. It can just handle the sky perfectly. A few really cool things that I was not actually expecting on the Air 3. The first one is waypoints. Now this is something we saw on the Mavic 3 series an impressive offering with a bunch of different features. And we've got that same offering in the Air 3. So you can utilize that comprehensive waypoint planner to build out your missions, regardless if you're at home, if you're on the field, there are a lot of different options to plan out your waypoint missions. And that's really cool to see on the Air 3. We also have the cruise control feature on the Air 3, which is a little bit of an underrated feature that I actually really do enjoy. It allows you to lock out the movement of the drone and continue at that same rate, regardless if you're moving to the left as well well as lifting up, as well as yawing certain ways. It will basically lock all of those movements regardless of how many you're putting in. I could have three different movements, you know, coming up like this, and the drone is gonna continue on that path in the cruise control mode. So a standout feature that a lot of people aren't using enough of, but that also came over to the Air 3 as well. And then on top of that, we're getting the night mode, which is a nice offering, and we're getting vertical video options as well, which is really cool. Because a lot of people utilize social media with those reels and shorts and that vertical content that a lot of the time we have to edit in 
and editing software. So now what you can do with the Air 3 is you can actually record either 2.7K or 1080p at 60 frames per second. And it actually allows you to record that nine by 16, the vertical video resolution, which allows you to just dump it straight on all your social networks. Another standout feature is the DJI RC2. Now this is a really cool controller and I do love this upgrade over the original RC. It's just a lot more responsive. I find that the actual touch screen, the performance of the unit is so much snappier. I did find with the RC occasionally it would delay and it would lag a little bit. And sometimes you'd know, you, you would kind of be thinking ahead and it would be struggling to keep up with you. I find that the RC2 can actually keep up with you. So a very responsive interface. I also find that the 32 gigabytes of internal storage is handy. I do a lot of screen recording for my tutorial stuff. So that's really handy as well. It might not be for everyone, but you know, you can save some footage and photos on there as well. And then the other cool thing is we actually get some antennas that pop out now. So external antennas, so I can adjust those depending on where the drone is located. And that can actually significantly improve the range and the connection to the drone as well. With the Air 3, you are getting OcuSync 4, which is the first time we've seen OcuSync 4 on a DJI drone. And this gives you 20 kilometers of range, which is unheard of stuff really like you're never ever going to ever need that because you need to fly in line of sight but you know if you're in a built-up area with a lot of interference you're not going to have any issues because you've got that extra buffering effect of the 20 kilometers of range so that's a really impressive offer if you need that extra reliability and OcuSync 4 is just extremely reliable as you would imagine I had no issues the drone never dropped out never had any issues with interference or anything like that it was just a reliable experience overall if you do want to take your drone experience to the next level I actually do have a free gift over on the Fearless Drone Academy's website. So go over to fearlessdrone.academy and if you scroll down, you'll find the newsletter section. You'll get yourself a free gift, which is the pre-flight checklist. So make sure to sign up to that because the pre-flight checklist has everything you need to check before you even leave the house, when you get to the field where you're about to fly, you know, as you're flying the drone and also as you land the drone, it gives you everything that you need to check up on during your flight experience. So I've been using the Air 3 now for about three or so weeks, maybe four weeks now, and it's just such a phenomenal offering. There's so much going on here and it just launched immediately. Like when I set it up ready to go, it launched and it was just such a beautiful experience. Like everything just works really well with this unit and I can't wait to see other people using it. Like that three times that medium telephoto system is the standout for me. I love the wide angle and I love everything else, but to be able to go with 4K 100 frames per second with a slightly zoomed in offering, it just gives such a cool perspective. It's such a unique perspective. The buttery smooth, 4K in slow motion is phenomenal. And then to have that extra flight time, to have the, the omnidirectional obstacle avoidance and the waypoints and everything else, I just think that this is such a perfect offering for a lot of people. And I really do think it's probably one of the best upgrades for a lot of people out there. You know, depending on what unit you have, this is probably the one to go to. You know, like if you don't want to go as far as the Mavic 3 series, which can be very expensive, the Air 3 is the one to consider. So I really do appreciate all of the amazing support and I'd love your thoughts on the Air 3 in the comments below. I will have those links below for you to check out the exclusive subscribers combo for the Air 3, as well as to check out the Fearless Drone Academy's website. So thank you so much for all of your amazing support and I'll chat to you in the next one. Peace.